and welcome to Caravan Escapades. Hope everybody is keeping safe and well. I'm um, very privileged. I've got Jim Bedford here today with me from Oris Automotive. Uh, I don't really remember the small snippet I did at the NEC February show on the electric retractable retrofitted tow bar. That really sparked my interest and I started to communicate with Jim and asked Jimmy if he'd come along and do a bit more of a full in-depth demonstration on the system and answer those questions you guys have been asking. So, let me introduce it. Jim, Jim, how are you? I'm very well indeed. Thank you, James. Thanks for inviting Not me Not a problem at all. Thank you very much for coming. Jim, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little bit of an overview on yourself and Oris Automotive. Yeah. Of course, uh, I'm Jim Bedford. I'm the Managing Director of ACPS Automotive, which is the training name for Oris Tobas. Ah, Scott, yeah, I was a bit confused about that, so at least that makes it clear. Yes, it is. Um, so, Oris Tobas are Europe's largest OEM manufacturer of Tobas, uh, supplying all, most of the major OEM car manufacturers in Europe. We also have plants in America, uh, three plants in Europe, and uh, we have a development office in Shanghai now which we just opened, and of course the UK office, which has just opened. So here we are, we're open for business. Brilliant. And uh, that's how we met you. It is, it's exactly how we met me. And, and, and we met because I was wandering by your stand and saw this and thought, oh, because I always wanted, as you guys know, I've got the uh, Mercedes GLS 350. Uh, I didn't buy it new, so I wasn't able to have the factory fitted tow bar fitted. Um, and so I've had a detachable tow bar, but it's that faff of getting down underneath, getting it in, getting it out, being sure, is it connected properly? Is it gonna fall out and all that sort of stuff? And I would really, really like to get an electric retractable tow bar fitted. I didn't realise you could retrofit them. Um, there are some limits at the moment to the types of vehicles they can be fitted to, but we'll go through that in a bit anyway. But I think the best thing, Jim, if you want to demonstrate the system to all that yes, system. Yes, of course. Okay, so this is the Oris, we call it the E3. Um, it's a fully retractable tow bar. It was developed off the back of our OEM knowledge. Yeah. Um, so. We know it's the full OEM standard, and so we're able to bring that OEM quality straight to the aftermarket. These are made in exactly the same factory as we manufacture for Mercedes-Benz or any other car manufacturer. So essentially you guys actually manufacture for the OEMs as well? Yes we do. Oh, okay, I was aware of that. that is the biggest part of our business. So manufacturing these tow bars for the OEMs, that if we were to buy a new car and we'd specify them in, the chances are it'd be one of your tow bars that fit Strong possibility of the Oris, yeah. but because of the constrictions we have with the OEM manufacturers, we actually have to develop these separately right, and not independently yeah. of our OEM design right. team. Yeah. So yeah. we actually have our own aftermarket design team Perfect. which does this, but obviously we can borrow the technology. Yeah. So we're interested in this gym, so come on, tell me all about it. Okay, very simple operation. Um, it's all, obviously all mounted behind the bumper of the car. Yeah. Um, little operating switch here, and that just sits inside the boot area. Okay. And uh, when you want to use it, well, let's um, stow it first. That's a very, I don't know whether you guys can hear that. I mean, I can barely hear it and I'm stood next to it, so it is a very, very quiet operation. It is very quiet. So, when you want to use it, yeah. ignition must be off. Ignition must be off, okay. Yep, and the boot must be open. Got you. Ignition off and boot open. Obviously, when you want to use it, just press the button, hold it for two seconds. And I guess that holding it for two seconds is, if you've got a dog in the boot, that sort of stuff, it stops exactly. it. Exactly, it's, it's a safety it. feature. Yeah. Or it could be the shopping sliding, Yeah. which is why it won't work when the uh, boot's closed. Oh, of course, yeah, yes. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's a good safety feature. And again, the only noise I heard as this thing operated and, and, and coming back out was that click, I guess that's it locking into place. That is, that is it locking into place. It's very robust sound. Yeah. You can't miss it. Yeah. It actually sounds quieter here than it did at the NEC. Yes, yeah. So when you've used it and you want to put it away, obviously all your electrics are fully built into the side. And that's that's full 13 pin sockets. Yeah, it's not full function. There's two functions missing, but we do a little add-on kit, which will make it full function what, what to give those? you the charging. Ah, so that's the basic in the charging of the battery and the running of the fridge. So you do need an adapter. Yes. Okay. Well, not an adapter as such, but an additional piece of the wiring loom just to connect in further down the car, but the facility's there within the loom. Oh, okay, so I guess if you've already got that installed in your car, so say, like me, if I was to go for one of these systems, I'd go from that, um, that 
fitted tow bar, but it's a fixed tow bar, but the electrics are all there, so for the charging in the fridge, if we were to go to fit one of these, we could just automatically go into the Your there. fitter would just literally make that yeah. connection into that part of the loop. Okay. Yeah. So when you finish with it, yeah. simply two seconds, and off it goes again. And one very, very key safety feature, Oops, two seconds. So you, you have to be standing too close. That's it. It won't work. Okay, so basically if you've got, we're not going to get that walking into the tow bar and wrecking our shins that we normally get with a fixed tow bar. So if basically you were there, you were deploying it, you were in the way, it comes out, it, it, it makes contact with you, it stops. Um, does it just stop where it is or is it like, like we've done here, it automatically It will normally go back, but now it's lost. So we've got a permanent fault light come up. Got you. Because it's obviously measures where it is yeah. within its cycle. Yeah. It's lost itself now, so we've got to hold this in now for a full five seconds. Yeah. And it'll do a reset. Yeah, so just find that it's home position, that sort of Correct. thing again. So, it knows so it's coming it around now. Yeah. There we go. Right. I'm happy, my fault light's gone off. Yeah. And again, just to cover some of those safety features, so it will only operate if the boot is open. Correct. And if the ignition is off. Correct. Okay. Um, now, one other feature, I mean, this is pretty, I, I mean, I really like this system, um, but one other question I asked, because I hadn't seen these before, what are these two novels for? Okay, this is um, a patented system. Yep. Uh, it's called Fix for Bike. Okay. So there, it's something that the car manufacturers have had for quite a long while. Yeah. Um, I think you'll find Vol they're on every Volvo uh, tow bar. Yeah. They have these pins. And it, if the cycle carrier has been specially adapted to, for these pins, yeah. it makes the location and the locking yeah, yeah. of the cycle carrier almost to be approved. Yeah. I don't want to say full idiot, but, no, 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 no. but it's, it's a really advanced yeah. locking system yeah. uh, for cycle carriers. Okay. And obviously you do have your... I've um, just, just noticed that, so, um, and I'll, in fact, let me bring this camera around here and I can show you guys that a little bit better. So if you see just here, um, that's the loop and we all ask where's that loop for the breakaway cable and that sort of thing. So the loop or the breakaway cable gets connected into that and that looks pretty robust I mean what I'm using at the moment is the little loop on the side of uh, my towing electric so nice to see that incorporated as well so there's none of this having to hang your cable no. um, over the tow ball which there are some technicalities about whether that's legal or not legal that sort of stuff um, no, it's really good really like that really impressed um, so availability models of vehicles that sort of stuff i know we spoke at the nec and yeah. i said can you do this for the gls 350 and your answer was no Correct. absolutely gutty but i guess things like that are in development there there is a long development yeah. list um, and it's obviously based on what volumes of vehicles that are in the aftermarket yeah. um, and that's really how it's decided and um, probably more around the german and austrian markets yeah. because that's our home market yeah. uh, than the uk but okay. um, most of them a perfectly good for so can you give me a rough overview of what vehicles it's available for now yes i can i'm gonna to have to look at my no, so, no jim's going to refer to his list <laughs> that's why i mean it's, it's a, a reasonably long list so it's a bit unfair to put him right on the spot so it's just it's just an overall oh, i tell you what jim actually probably a little bit easier than kind of running it off are you able to share that list with me and what i'll do that would be much better. i can I, yeah i'll get jim to share that list so what I'll do is I'll put that list, Jim will share that with me and I'll put that in the description below so you can take a look at that and see if it's available for your vehicle. Um, Jim, I hope you don't mind. Obviously let my subscribers know that you were coming in and ask yep. if there was any particular questions and they have. A few of them have sent some questions in. Um, please feel free to answer these as freely to the best of your I'll knowledge. I'll do my very best. <laughs> so the first one is for our good old favorite Graham Bell, the Caravan Vlogger. Um, it's by Hi James, a few things, how much? Okay, you're looking in around about twelve to thirteen hundred pounds. So twelve to thirteen hundred pounds. I don't think that's too unreasonable. I mean, I paid eleven hundred pounds to have the detachable tow bar fitted, aftermarket fitted to my GLS anyway. So personally, I don't think that's too unreasonable for getting a fully electric uh, tow bar. Um, which cars are suitable? Well, we've, we've referred to that, so refer to the list below. And um, how? I'll also give you send you a list of what's imminent. Oh, that'd be great. Because there are some more waiting to come off the 
new ones waiting off the production line. Brilliant. As soon as we got those, um, we know they'll be available in the next four weeks. Perfect. So as well as what's available now, Jim's going to share with me what's coming up very soon. Um, and who can fit and where? I mean, you, have you got fitting centres or are you going to be have a network of mobile fitters? Okay, we use the standard tow bar fitting centres around yep. the UK. Some are mobile, some are um, fixed base. Um, it, all those fitters will be perfectly capable of fitting those, coding them in if required. Perfect. And would, they, would there be an additional fitting charge to the price of the... Um, or we, we, within that, the, within the thirteen hundred pounds, it should, they should be fitted. But you might get the dreaded VAT. Yeah. Okay. No worries at all. Another question for you, Rob from Rob's Wise Ways. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Hi, Rob. Um, he's put this. Looks a really good aftermarket tow bar. Will the release switch be in the same position as the factory one uh, on the tailgate? And I think we've probably answered that. So this is the release switch here. That is correct. And Typically, I mean, that's going to be fitted in the boot. Yes, but it won't be on the tailgate. It's going to be just inside, either left or right, um, on, on, the, on the inside yeah. panel. Okay. It's not going to be um, actually on the tailgate. So it's not going to be where the factory fitted button will be, but it will be within easy location within the boot. Um, will the electrics be dedicated to vehicle encoded in? Yes, they will. I think you've already answered that one. Uh, the factory folding tow bar lets you know in the dash if it's not engaged properly. No. No, okay, so you're not you're not going to get that, but I guess, to be fair... If you listen to it, you know it's engaged. You, you listen to it, you know it's engaged. And I guess, is, is it locked? Can you man If it's not locked, can you manually move it? I'll try. Yeah, That's, so... It's so not going anywhere. It, for me, it would be probably one of those additional checks that you did before you um, connected. You know, once you've got the caravan on, you drop that jockey wheel, you wind it up, you make sure it lifts up the back of the car. So before you drop the caravan on, it's get the foot on it, give it a good push and make sure it's locked in place. I think the only other thing we should say about the tow ball is you're just going to have to get the uh, paint off. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's, uh, we, I think most of my uh, viewers out there are pretty much aware of that. We like to polish our balls. So, uh, as all tow bars, I mean, this looks very clean. Is there a coating on that? No, there is a coating, so hence that's got to come off. Yeah, so basically, that will the pad. so we'll have to remove the coating on that one. Um, Chris uh, Greater X, so Chris Greater X, I guess the biggest question is about cost. Well, I think we've answered that. It's going to be about that twelve to thirteen hundred pound mark. But how does the cost break down? Uh, can you self install? You can self install, absolutely. Um, if you if you're a competent auto electrician and you can install a tow bar, yeah. you can install this. The process is no different. Personally, I would go and have it done professionally. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that's down to your skills. I mean, I um, let's go back to since I started towing. Back in the 90s, um, I did install my own tow bars, but now I get somebody else to do it. Um, so yeah, I didn't know that. So if you're competent enough, you can self-install that. Uh, does it need car-specific wiring? It has comes with car specific wiring. It comes with car specific wiring and does the car need coding? If the car needs coding, then it will have to be coded. It will have to be coded. Um, what about ratings, nose weight and that sort of thing? Um, tow bars are manufactured to the worst case for the car. So yeah. whatever the vehicle manufactures is, the nose weight limit is and the towing capacity is, that's what it is. Perfect. Okay, so basically, whatever the tow bar capacity and the vehicle capacity, that's what it is. Um, Colin Rimmer from Collins Caravan Capers. He's put interest in the product and it's looking, uh, and he's looking forward to the vlog. So make sure you watch that vlog, Colin. Phil Williams, Lost Weekends Caravanning. Phil, how are we doing? Um, interested in pricing, which we've covered. Uh, and if it's cheaper than factory fitted, could have a real winner in this product. And I think, I mean, I've not had experience of factory fitted personally, but I've heard people talking about two, three thousand pounds, that sort of stuff. It varies from vehicle manufacturer to vehicle manufacturer. Um, but of course, once the you're past factory fit stage, yeah. the opportunity's gone anyway. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's for us. I mean, a lot of us won't go out and buy that brand new 50, 60, 70,000 pound Mercedes. We'll look for one that's two or three years old. And if we can get one with a factory fitted tow bar, great. But we might find that car we like and it doesn't have one fitted. So that will give us the option to have an electric retractable tow bar fitted. Uh, Ken Perrins asks, do they make them to fit the Mercedes GLC 220D Formatic 2016 model? Not yet. I'm really sorry, Ken. But yeah, give us time. Give us time. I'm going to have to wait as well. Phil's put, can you change the tow ball and how much uh, to have it fitted? I think we've covered the how much to have it fitted. 
No. No, but I don't think, I mean, I'm not sure, um, Phil, the reason for changing the tow ball. Um, it works with Alco hitches. It works with Alco hitches, it works with any hitch. Yeah. Um, but no, um, if, this, if this goes, it's a new unit, I'm afraid. Yeah, complete new unit. So, no, you can't change the tow ball, Phil. Uh, and the last one, three go caravanning. Uh, this is a question specific around your X5, and you put on our X5, uh, had we not had the tow bar factory fitted, our towing capacity would have reduced from 3.5 to 2,700 kilograms. Uh, if they remember rightly, does this aftermarket do the same? We are considering a GLS as your next tow car. Just on the GLS, can highly recommend it. I love the GLS, great tow vehicle, really, really love it. But uh, regarding the down rating of the towing capacity with it not being factory fitted, and I think this is actually specific to the X5. Uh, I think this is pretty unique to BMW on the X5. Yeah. Um, when you have the line fed tow bar fitted at the factory, um, they put some extra strengthening into the vehicle, which can't be added after the vehicle is manufactured. Uh, it's just one of those. Okay, so that's just for your X5. That's the end of the questions. Um, obviously, Jim, when we put this vlog out, let's just put that away there. Jim, when we put this vlog out anyway, we'll be looking at your comments and following those comments as well. So if I can't answer them, I'm sure Jim might jump in there. If not, I can forward them on to Jim anyway. But unless you've anything more to show us or tell us, Jim? No, I think that's it. Um, it's a super product. I think um, it's going to do very well for the business in the UK. It's certainly selling very well in Europe. Perfect. And hurry up and get it for the GLS. <laughs> I will speak to those who make them. <laughs> Brilliant. So again, that's just, this is not a promoted video. These guys are not paying me. It was just a product that I really liked. I thought, let's make you guys aware of it as well. Um, and if you can take up the benefits, it might help you out all the better. Anyway, so all that remains for me to say is thank you very much, Jim, for coming. My absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when we put out more vlogs. And we'll see you on the next one.